as you can see, it has snowed. But we need to get an accurate reading of how much snow fell. There are three main ways to do this, and I'm going to show you how. So the first method is one that is mostly used on social media or showing off to friends, especially people in Florida. Um, you're going to need to move the snow into a pile. Now technically it did fall here, so this is the snowfall that we got last night. I'm not lying there. Um, and then if you get a good reading, uh, you've got 34 inches right there. I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's respectable. Here we've got the second method for measuring how much snowfall you got. Now this is one that you don't share with other people, you don't tell them. Um, this is something just for your own record to see how much snow you actually got. You'll need a flat surface where you don't have drifts. Hopefully the wind hasn't blown too much away from it, not in direct sun, so it's melted. Um, I'm going to take a reading here. Uh, we got right about nine and three quarters inches, which is not bad, but th there again, you don't want to share this information. It's for your own knowledge and comparison of previous years, snowfalls, things like that. So now we have the third method. I call it the manager's method because some of the managers, when you're supposed to be at work and not showing up, things like that, maybe even a family member sending it to, to another member where, hey, you're supposed to be here while well, he didn't want to come, whatever. Um, Find a thinner area of snow. It might be under the eave of a house. It might be something where you swept it off in the middle of a storm and then a little bit more fell. You'll want to use a ruler. You don't need a yardstick for this measurement. Um, so if I check for last night, looks like we got two and a half inches. There's no reason you shouldn't be at work. And that's why it's the manager's method. Hope this helps.